Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. In this video, I'm going to give you a basic idea about spheres, their intersection with planes, intersection of sphere and sphere, and we will work on a few basic problems. Okay, so first of all, you have to understand in three dimension, particles have uh, three uh, like what you call degrees of freedom. So I think you might remember how your teacher derived the equation of a circle when you were like maybe in class 8 or 9 or 10. So what they will do is they will fix a point and we call it the center and then we will take random points in such a way that the distance between center and the random points will be same. Of course that constant distance is called the radius. This is how we uh, derived the equation of a circle. Now the only difference here is we have three degrees of freedom, right? In two dimension, you have only two degrees of freedom. Here, this, uh, these points can fly. Literally, it can fly around. Uh, so, or you can imagine this is a ant walking in a wall, an ant walking in a wall. And here we have a honey bee which maintains a uniform distance from a certain point. And you know the honey bee will move like this, it will come down, it will go here. But just imagine if you keep the distance constant, then instead of a circle, uh, actually you are generating infinite circles in infinite directions. And that structure will be called a sphere. Anyway, um, if you use the same logic, suppose the center is alpha, beta, gamma and the radius is r and the random point on the sphere is called x, y, z. It's easy to see that the sphere is given by x minus alpha the whole square plus y minus beta the whole square plus z minus gamma the whole square equal to radius squared. It's not a big deal, you can derive it yourself. Now, once you simplify this, we get the general format, which looks like the, uh, I should not say which looks like, it will be a second order um, general, uh, general equation in x, y, z. So, we get x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 ux plus 2 vy plus 2 wz plus d equal to 0 on simplification and manipulating. So this is what you have to focus. So remember the standard equation of a sphere will be x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d equal to 0. And what is xyz? xyz as I always say in the plane xyz will be a random point on the plane. It can represent any point on the plane. Because every point on the plane will follow the equation of a plane. And here xyz will be a random point on the sphere. It can be any point on the sphere. Suppose you are given an equation of a sphere and you are wondering what will be the center and radius. It's very easy. You look at the coefficient of x, you look at the coefficient of y, you look at the coefficient of c. Divide the coefficients by negative 2. So the center is minus u, minus v, minus w in general and the radius is given by root under, I want you to square each of these quantities. So you get u square plus v square plus w square minus d. Okay, let's do one very simple question based on this. Okay, so they are asking you find the center and radius of the sphere. 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 3z squared minus 12x plus 36y minus 24c plus 21 equal to 0. Now look at this. I intentionally took this question because I wanted to understand we learned the general equation with coefficients of x squared, y squared, z squared being 1. So if you are planning to use this formula 
if you are planning to use these formulae then once more if you are planning to use these formulae then you should always bring the given equation in the standard form that means you have to divide throughout by 3 so we get x square plus y squared plus z squared minus 4x plus 36 by 4 will be sorry 36 by 3 will be 12y minus 24 by 3 that will be 8 plus 7 equal to 0 now look at this uh, don't waste your time uh, like your uh, class 11 exam I wanted to write your the center directly that's very easy look at the coefficient of x look at the coefficient of y look at the coefficient of z divide by 2 and take negative of that so that will be 2 minus 6 and 4 now if you want the radius the trick is very easy square all these quantities when you square all of them will become positive so 4 plus 36 plus 16 minus this constant and that will be how much this will be 40 and this will be 39 so root 49 that will be 7 so that is a very basic problem okay now the next thing uh, like what you call it. it's a basic problem but I saw in some uh, old question papers they ask find the equation of a sphere uh, so remember this I didn't see such questions in the latest question papers but maybe five six years back they used to ask questions like this find the equation of a sphere through the points 1 minus 3 4 1 minus 5 2 1 minus 3 0 and whose center is on the plane x plus y plus z equal to 0 whenever they ask a question like this the first thing to do is you assume let the required sphere be x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 ux plus 2 by plus 2 wz plus d equal to 0 and the next thing I want you to do is take your calculator and if you don't have this calculator I'm really sorry your calculator will not be able to help you because in this calculator you can solve uh, even four unknown problem uh, I mean uh, what you call uh, is solve simultaneous equation in which you have four unknowns look at this what is x y z in the equation of a sphere it stands for each and every point on the sphere okay this is a point on the sphere that means we can replace x with 1 y with minus 3 z with 4 so what will we get 1 plus 9 plus 16 plus 2 into u into 1 minus 2 into v into minus so that will give me 6v and plus 8w plus d equal to 0 look at this did you understand what we did we are pretending as if we know the answer we are just pretending as if we know the answer and I'm going to call it equation 1 now my plan is to find the values of u v w and d of course I will use the calculator the university has allowed you to use the calculator that means I will use my calculator I'm not going to waste my time solving in the classic method if you like that method you can of course solve anyway my job is to find u v w and d okay now I'm going to write it in a, like just like an equation so 2u minus 6v plus 8w plus d is equal to how much this will be minus 26 so equation number 2 and now what will I do I'll take the next point does this point belong to the sphere yes that means I can replace x with 1 y with minus 5 and z with 2 so what will I get I will get 1 plus 25 plus 4 so if you simplify 
um, what will you get let's plug it here and try to write the equation first so we get do you and minus 10 V plus 8 W no it will be 4 W plus D is equal to 1 plus 25 that will be 26 26 plus 4 will be minus 30 equation number 3 in examination don't skip steps yeah, 1 minus 3 0 so when we plug in 1 minus 3 0 this will be 1 plus 9 minus 10 so let's keep minus 10 and the point is 1 minus 3 0 so we are going to get 2u minus 6v and plus 0 w plus d equal to minus 10 equation number 4 now we need one more equation that's very easy look at this the center of the sphere lies on the plane come on what is the center of the sphere we just learned it is minus u minus v minus w now it is clearly mentioned this point lies on the plane that means this point will satisfy this plane's equation so we get the fourth equation minus u minus v minus w equal to zero and i'll put zero d here now i want you to take your calculator and i want you to press that menu and when you press menu you'll see the numbers one two three four etc and i want you to look at a can you see you can get to that a by pressing alpha and a can you see alpha is in red and a is in red you press that and you'll enter the equation mode now your calculator will show simultaneous equation polynomial equation of course we are going to solve simultaneous equation the next question is it will ask how many unknowns so four unknowns now plug in the equations the coefficients and that's it you'll be able to solve so you can comment below so that it will be useful for others i'm not solving because i'll give you one more question so that you can uh, go through it so uh, you can i saw this in on 2071 question paper from 2071 so find the equation of a sphere passing through the point 0 0 0 0 1 minus 1 i'll put it like the third question so that when you comment you can comment like answer to the second question is answer to the third question is it will be useful for others so please do comment the answers uh, minus one two zero and one two three this is a question paper from 2071 so the same process you plug in each and everything by the way i'll tell you one more thing whenever any system any system let it be a line let it be a plane let it be a sphere let it be a cone if it passes through the origin then the constant term will be zero so in this problem you have an advantage uh, the advantage is you can assume the sphere to be x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 ux plus 2 vy plus 2 wz equal to zero what is the reason our sphere passes through the origin if you don't like this method you can follow the method I gave you earlier but this will be much easier and even students with the old calculator can also uh, work out this problem with calculator yeah okay so that's it it was a small video so in the next video we will be discussing uh, more serious problems in plane which keep on repeating like the great circle problems etc etc so we will be learning intersection of sphere and a plane, intersection of sphere and a sphere. Okay, so till then, bye.